Hello everyone, it's your girl Deli here. Rub my belly. If you're into that. And welcome to a brand new video. Today we have a brand new patch from The Sims 4, which is very exciting because we will be getting the new freelance career. We will be getting new creator sim items and we will be getting new build items, including the plain white shelf. The shelf we've always wanted, the shelf we've always aspired to have in our lives and our builds will finally be here. I'm so excited. Cheers, get comfy, let's check it all out. Okay, let's jump straight into Creator Sim and later on we're gonna check out the new freelance career and talk about that a little bit more because that's probably the biggest thing coming with this update. Mm. However, these are some of the new clothes, so we're just gonna go through them. We have four new clothing items for males and I think four new clothing items for females as well, which obviously range through from teenager to young adult to adult to elder. So kids, teenagers, and toddlers aren't getting any clothes in this update, but keep in mind it is free. So I wouldn't expect us to be totally decked out with lots of stuff. First up, we have this polka dot t-shirt, which I'm loving. So we have polka dots in two colorways. Then we have some plain options. Good to see the plain white and black swatches. Double tick from me. Love to see it. And um, then also some brighter colors as well. And yeah. I mean, I think these are really lovely. Definitely a handy shirt. Um, very versatile for all different kinds of sims and different ages. So I love that and I love seeing Polka dots making a comeback. We also have these new um, drawstring pants. So that's um, just like another plain pant. It's kind of halfway between smart casual and loungewear. So, you know, you can wear them in different ways. If you cover it up with a shirt, it'll probably look more like trousers, which is kind of good if you don't see the drawstring. But I think they're pretty cool. Um, I was kind of hoping so for some more colorways of this one, because I like how it has a little bit of extra shape around the thighs. Uh, I don't know, it kind of is cut a little bit shorter and I always only use this one. <laughs> so I was kind of hoping we might get more versions of that, but still, this is pretty awesome. Moving on to the next sweater we get for males. This is a nice collared sweater with a little zip and my mum would love this. This would be her favorite item in this update because she is always getting these types of sweaters for her partner. She's always like, Tony, I, I'm gonna get Tony one of these sweaters. So it definitely reminds me of my mum. <gasps> oh, and I love these little patches on the back of the arms. Nice eye for detail. Yes, Sims, you make us very, very happy right about now. Then we of course have the Moschino collab, which um, was revealed last week. Moschino has a line, um, they're a high-end fashion label. I did a video on that as well. And uh, we did get a hoodie in the game. I'll just say that again, one hoodie. I'm really, really hoping that we get more than one item from this collaboration, because otherwise it just completely seems very unbalanced, I think, as a collaboration. Um, so hopefully we see more pieces in the future. But for now, we just have the one hoodie that is also available for females too, with freezer bunny on it, very cute. I've already seen some custom content as well who have changed the Moschino label into Simlish lettering, which is kind of cool as well, because it does begin to lean a little bit on alpha looking content when uh, you bring real world labels into the game, but of course it's a collaboration. Uh, it makes absolute sense to do that. So very cute. I wish I had that hoodie in real life. And then <laughs> last of all, we do have this sweater too with a barcode on it. I think this is really cool. Um, and then it also comes in some more plain colors. We've got grays. We don't have a plain white and black, although we do have a similar top already. So I'm not too mad about that. Love the purple and the blue. I think the blue is so nice. I love a bright blue sweater and um, this, what is that? Is this like a, I don't know. But yeah, that, that's kind of nice as well. Let's move on to the female outfits. This is Quinn, um, my sim that I play off camera at the moment. And this is the new sweater and skirt combination. We have two full outfits, yay! I have to say, I love this sweater. I think they've done such a beautiful job having it, you know, have that tucked in look, that loose tuck in look. I think it looks so nice. And um, a few different colorways, 
really, really nice. Um, happy to see a plain black and white too. Snaps oh. for Sims. <laughs> and um, beautiful yellow color. I mean, I think this is just really, really lovely. And I think this is my favorite colorway, actually, the, the neutral tones. I think that's really really something. Then we also have this cardigan. This definitely goes with that freelancing theme where you kind of work from home. You have something that's comfortable, but still a little bit corporate with the shirt underneath. And I think this is a great outfit that we don't really have anything like it. So this is really nice. Um, more muted colorways, nothing too crazy. The blue's probably the brightest. Love the camel as well. Um, so yeah, really, really lovely. Then this is a sweater top with a base game skirt. And this is great. So I can understand why we don't have this sweater as a separate item, just because you can imagine when you're putting it with different bottoms, it would kind of clip and not fit in with everything. So it makes total sense why it's only available as a full outfit. However, I think that this jumper that's fully out with a the shirt underneath is a really love, lovely comp compromise. Can you speak English? So uh, yeah, I think that's really cool. And you know, they can be matching you guys. They can be matching. How sweet. Nice plain colorways as well. I mean, this is gonna go with so many things and I just loved it with this base game denim skirt. I thought that looked really nice. And they also said there were new shoes too, like new flats, but I don't know if flats was the right description to use for them because the only thing that I'm seeing that I don't recognize is actually a pair of sneakers. These, but I swear I've seen something like these in the game already. So I'm a little bit confused to what the pair of flats is. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if I've got this wrong, but I mean, I'm happy for some plain white and black sneakers, but I thought those were unlocked at some particular level. So. I don't know what the new flats are, unless they're these, but that would be kind of weird. I don't think it's, I don't think it's those. So I don't know, I'm confused by that. And then of course we have the Moschino hoodie uh, for females. Uh, do you have to say the fit's a little bit odd at the back here? Like, I, I don't, maybe it's because she's wearing leggings and not pants. No, there's something very odd with the fit at the back, I think. Uh, if your sim's not a stick, it's gonna look pretty odd. And I don't know if that's why that's happened, but it definitely looks a little, a little like, oh, we better throw a hoodie in there because otherwise people get annoyed. Yeah, it definitely fits the males a lot better. So, yikes. Oh, those. Anyway, free content, you guys, free content. Mustn't complain too much. Um, let's jump into Build and Buy. Oh my gosh, I really love seeing these clothes when the Sims are moving. There's something nice about seeing clothes outside of Create a Sim. And I have to say, I really like the Moschino top. I think um, I think that's really fun. So I do, I do enjoy that indeed. Now let's check out the good stuff. Okay, so the good news is we have a wonderful new desk, which I love this. I think this is so cute. It's definitely unlike anything we already have in the game. I love that it comes in a plain white version and plain black snaps for Sims. Love that. And um, oh, that's kind of cool. So we've got just some nice accent colors on it, the green. So that's looking really, really nice. Oh, I'm so loving this desk, very Scandinavian, very nice. And we also have a new bookcase. So this is the Edgier Ladder Case. Um, I'm not going to read out all of the detailing because we have a lot to get through in this video, but look at that. That's a great bookcase. Love it, love it, love it. I kind of like the green accent on the end although it doesn't really go with the table we have out here. Wait, do the swatches go together? I think they do. Uh-oh. Oh no, they do, they do. False alarm, false alarm, it's okay. I think there's also a new desk chair. Here it is, the professional, oof. Love that. I'm so glad we have a new desk chair because I always felt like the gamer chair looked a little strange and then the other one looked like a mushroom head from Strangerville, if you guys know the one I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, this is really... You know what? You can't go wrong with a nice basic wheelie chair, okay? It's comfortable, it's nice, it's good. And I do like the timber detailing on it, so I do appreciate that. So we've got our desk chair as well, and we do have a laptop. 
unlock by maxing out the performance meter in the freelance career as a freelance writer for the first time. A little bit annoying. I would have personally preferred it just to be there to access, seeing as though we don't have any other laptops available for people with just the base game. Um, but yeah, you're going to unlock that by maxing out the performance meter. You know, it's not that hard. I mean, it just means you have to be in the writing career to unlock it or the freelance career. And the freelance career has three options. You can be a writer, programmer, or artist, artist. There's also a new little end table, which is looking really, really cute. I like this a lot. Good, good, all the same swatches, so everything is going to match really nicely. Oh, we have a little Robo, the friendly circuitry toy. Okay, this is cool. We'll have to take a look at that in a second. And I believe we also have a pen holder here, which is great, because we only have the one pen holder and that object gets used so much. So I know this one is as well. There's also this notebook here. Okay, so this just helps the environment. So it looks like this sim is very busy. That's a nice clutter item. I think there's also like a weird hand reference model somewhere. Better as a pair of paintings. Now these paintings look so nice, but you need to max out the performance meter in the freelance career as a freelance artist for the first time to access them, but they look so good. I am very much wanting to unlock those and they just like sit on the floor. And this is a hand reference model. So I guess this is for the artist. And this reminds me of Scary Movie 2, where it's like, take my strong hand. I love that movie. Um, so yeah, there's like nice hand if you like having a hand in your office. And there's also the Supreme Freelancer Award in wall decorations, which is obviously another unlockable. So I'm gonna pull those ones out. We're going to do a sneaky cheaty right here. Aha, we can now access the freelancer award. So I suppose this is the award you get when you max out the performance meter in any trade within the freelance career. These are the beautiful paintings, which we were just looking at before. I adore these. I absolutely love the scale of them as well. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love these bright ones too. Oh my, I'm gonna always have to have this cheat on because I'm gonna want to use them all the time. And see, they look really nice as smaller paintings or bigger ones. Like I'd rather they give these objects as enlarged items because at least when you make them smaller, they still look good. Whereas if you have a smaller item and then increase the size, usually it looks a little weird because it's too thick, like all the detailing. But these are absolutely gorgeous. I, I am into these, definitely, definitely about them. And here's the free roaming computer device. I think we're gonna have to get rid of that hand, my strong hand. And yeah, it's really cute. It's a beautiful little laptop. <gasps> it's even got like the neon keys. Do they actually change? Shut the front door. That is a beautiful, that is a beautiful thing. And what does this robot thing do? Does it do anything? Oh, it's giving us a little wink. There we go. And of course, the moment that we have all been waiting for is the beautiful, the one, the only, the amazing, the immaculate, plain white shelf. Oh my Lord. Ah, I am, I am so happy about this. Look at it in all of its just amazing, clean white glory. That is just, I, I can't stop placing this. This is fantastic. So this has been recolored. Previously, we had shelves in just weird colors. We never had a plain white one and now we do. So I'm excited. Wait, is this the black one? Mm, it's looking almost brown to me. Does anyone else think that looks a little chocolate colored? We may not have the plain black shelf, a true black shelf, but we do have a true immaculate white shelf. So bravo Sims, one step at a time. Now, next up, I would love to see that uh, plain white modern door, please. All right, so I've just placed down a starter home that I recently built on the channel. You guys can check out the speed build if you would like to, because this is the house these Sims in my LP live in. Um, and I've put a little desk area in here as well, because I want to check out the new freelance career. So I guess if we want to do the new freelance career, how do we do that? Do we just go find a job? 
I guess we'll soon find out. Uh, actor, detective, doctor, scientist. Okay, that's not, is, is freelance in here? Freelancer, here we go, here we go. Available trades, digital artist, programmer, or writer. Be your own boss, set your own work schedule. Sounds good, right? If you're both self-disciplined and determined, a career as a freelancer may be the right path for you. Multiple trades available to work within. Agencies are standing by to connect you with eager clients today. All right, well, let's um, let's do the freelance career and let's do the electrified artist, perhaps. And uh, let's see what happens. And then we'll also, for Quinn over here, we're gonna get her to register as well, freelancer. And then we're going to select the computer expert for Quinn. And they only have one computer, so this is going to be interesting. So we have select a gig. Okay, let's check for gigs. Now this works the same way as in Get Famous, the acting career or in a similar way. So you actually look for the gigs before you start the gig. And I guess instead of going to the studio, like in the acting career to fulfill the gig, you just do it from your home lot. So I think that's pretty awesome. Now we can't do any of these ones because they're not unlocked yet. So to start off with, we only have hide my data where we're gonna get 190 simoleons. We only need programming level one to do it. Um, oh, well, we're just gonna do it anyway. So let's do hide to my data. And basically we have to chat with a client and encrypt some files. So let's see, there's a new freelancer option here. So let's sit down and chat to our clients. And then let's see what Jay needs to do um, for a gig. Portrait of a deceased relative, okay, or a portrait for posterity. Okay, um, let's do this deceased relative. <laughs> okay, which means we need to study reference images. Mm-hmm. We need to paint the portrait on a sketch pad and then we need to get it approved. So we actually need to get our client to approve it. So it looks like if we're gonna be working from home, guys, we're gonna have to delete your bed. There's no time for sleep when you're hustling. So let's get you to go over here and study some reference images. And we'll see what happens. Quinn, have you finished what you needed to do? Oh no, it's gonna take quite some time. Oh, sorry neighbors, but we're busy. Uh, we don't make friends. We only are inspired by our career, so bye. We don't want your tasteless fruitcake. Oh, I feel really sad now that they're just walking away. Wow, well, we're, we're horrible. Ooh, and we've got a new focus goal from studying instructions. Well-written documentation is always appreciated. Jay doesn't have to worry about any misunderstandings. All right, so we need to get a sketch pad as well. Did we, oh, we have to buy one. So if you wanna be a freelancer, like you've gotta have the tools. You need to have a laptop or a computer and this laptop you have to unlock anyway. So you're gonna want to have at least around 1,000 simoleons. Actually, you can, you can get an $800 computer. And then it's $1,000 for the sab slablet. That's a lot of money. Oh wait, no, sorry, the digitalistic sketch pad. You know what? That is less expensive than this. Like it's kind of like Apple versus PC right there. <laughs> so let's go over to here and go to portrait. Let's go, boy. And now this came in an update that was with the Get Famous free update um, when Get Famous came out because of the style career. That's beautiful, Jay. Well done. Oh, wow. He's jumping all over the place. And then look at our beautiful shiny, shiny keyboard. Love that. Quinn, get back to work. So this is due by 9 a.m. Thursday. We have so long to do this. Okay, well let's encrypt files. And I guess it does take a little bit of time because we have to do this five times. Whereas I wonder if some of them are easier than the other, like paint portrait on sketch pad. This seems to be relatively, relatively fast. And now we just have to have it approved. Wow, that is, that is a picture of our deceased family member. Is that them like deceased lying down? Cause it kind of looks that way. Um, Let's send to client for approval. Oh, we got a little, a little signal. The client began to openly weep on receipt of the portrait. Jay created such a lifelike rendering of their recently departed loved 
one, did we really? But they immediately felt a close bond to the painting. In fact, they swear that the eyes in the painting follow them each time they walk by. It's hard to put a price on what's sure to be a treasured item in the client's family. That is so creepy. But they managed to do just that when they expressed their thanks by paying Jay a nice bonus on top of the portrait's agreed upon price. I didn't actually see how much we got paid, but this is approved exactly what we were looking for. Okay, so straight away, we can do another gig. Like that was really, really quick. So we got, oh, we must've got around a hundred simoleons or a little bit more. And of course, as we level up our painting skill, we're gonna be able to do like $3,000 um, gigs. So it looks like it's kind of a similar thing to do again. So let's just do that again. Let's study some reference images. And Quinn's looking very excited over here. I think Quinn's um, loves being a boss lady. Also, Jay's is due at 9 a.m. Wednesday, so you can really go at this at your own pace. And I feel like he's gonna do a lot more than Quinn. Okay, so Quinn Ooh, only just Ula. encrypted her new Swiss. file. Oh, and um, we can't get any Ula. more gigs, so this one would take quite some uh. time. Wow, we've already finished yet another portrait, and that's a lot of family members who have died. Are we doing the dead family member again? Because that's really, really sad. Oh no, it's not a dead family member. Cause I was gonna say, I feel really bad for this person. Okay, we have created what can only be described as a stunning likeness of his client. who was said to be so pleased that they hopped out of their deathbed and burst into an impromptu smuscle. Pleasing an octogenarian has its benefits. The client included an extra bonus payment for a job well done. Okay, so we've done that pretty quickly two lots ah. of requests and Quinn is still doing her first um, gig. So, wow. And it looks like you can also edit rejected content. So you can edit if it does get turned down. Are there any uh, new gigs that are here available? Okay, so they do change them up a little bit. You are going to get something worth a little bit more money too, like icons for Sims Forever. That's kind of fun. So these are gonna change up. They're not always going to be exactly the same. And of course you can look here and see what there is to look forward to in the future. Oh no, something went wrong with the encryption. The file got corrupted and can't be opened at all anymore. Luckily you were able to revert it back to the original. Please try again. What? So we wasted all of that time. I'm actually gonna cancel this gig because I just want to see how much you get paid out for these um for these programming gigs because it feels like it's a lot of effort oh my gosh you only get 135 simoleons and it takes so long to do what okay for this one you get 440 simoleons you do get more pay than the art freelancing gig though so that's interesting. It is going to vary a little bit. It definitely looks like programming is a little bit harder if you are starting from scratch. Actually, let's check out the other one. So let's um, quit our freelancing job and then we're going to get a new job. Actually, I could have just said find a new job without quitting the old one, but anyway. Okay, let's go back down to freelancer. Let's do that and go to fighting words and just see how much we get for this. Okay, so it's still around 130 simoleons. Um, let's maybe see what you have to do. So you'd have to write an article and get the article approved. Articles from memory do take a little bit of time, but I still think the programming career looks a lot more time consuming. Yeah, look at that. We're already like almost finished it. Wow. So yeah, programming is way harder, you guys. Um, and yeah, I did cheat Quinn's need because I did want her to try and get through the last one. But seeing me as though the encryption didn't even work, we ain't got time for that. Writing complete, give it a title. I want a chow chow now, now. Oh, and we can already go here and send to client for approval. It's on its like little hard disk drive. Love that. So Approved, this is oh, exactly what we were looking flash. for. So, okay, that was pretty amazing. easy. And we got a large bonus as well. Nice. 
Another exciting Ooh. part of the update is that there are a lot of bug fixes as well. So be sure to go through some of the notes, which I'll put in the description down below to see what has been improved. <laughs> and also I believe the Strangerville plants and like cacti have been added to the hidden objects um, cheat in The Sims 4. So if you've seen a lot of the trees around Strangerville, if you do have Strangerville as an expansion pack, sorry, game pack, you will be able to use those items um, from Biter Bug Mode. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave this video right here. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the free update. Are you going to have a go at the programmer career or do you think that one's too hard and you're gonna go for the other ones? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Susu!